Hello and welcome to the 25th tutorial in the Copas 2DJS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at skewing a node using a skew by action. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Copas 2DJS provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate nodes. Most things in Copas 2DJS are nodes such as sprites and many items that you'll be visually interacting with as a user. We will look at skewing a node using a skew by action which skews it relative to orig its original state and when I say by skew it basically gets the points. You can think of the corners on the sprite so if, if the sprite is rectangular because even it might be circular there might be alpha in it technically the sprite will be rectangular or the node and it just sort of stretches it, distorts it. You'll see in a moment uh, visually when we uh, code it. So if we open up our app.js, uh, so where was I? Where was I? I was over uh, here. Yep, okay. So yeah, if we just go to our app.js, and now what we're going to do. Is create a sprite action for so var sprite underscore action equals cc dot skew by dot create and in here we're going to put three parameters. First one is how long we want the action to take. We'll put two seconds. Then we put how we want to skew it in the x and the y axis. And now we're just going to run our action. So sprite dot run action, specify the action we want to run on the sprite, so sprite action, minimize that, open up terminal, it's losing the mouse there, I mean the cursor, cd to our project directory, run the project, let it load up, There we go. So it has skewed it. And if we just go back to our project, change this, let's say, to. Let's change this to a zero. So it just skews in the y axis. Refresh. As you can see, this, I think you'll be able to see this a little better now. So you can just imagine it getting the corners here. It's pulling them down. And it's getting the corners here. It's pulling them up. So it's sort of creating a diamond shape. That's essentially what skewing a node is. So what we're going to do is go back here, we'll put 15 back in, and now what we're going to do is repeat the action to show you the effect it has as the skew by action skews the node relative to its current state, hence it will keep skewing the node. So let's create a repeat action equals to cc.repeat.create, and in here we're going to specify the sprite action, we're going to make it repeat three times. We're going to run the repeat action on the sprite, go back to our web browser, refresh. As you can see, it is constantly skewing it, and yeah, it has done something dodgy, and that's the way the skew method works. It just, just kept on doing it, it just kept on doing it. So, yeah, skewing is something that you're going to have to maybe read more about. Also, you're going to have to experiment with to get the desired effect. Bear in mind the values provided in the skew action, aka. These two here, the last two values that we use to skew are in pixels. Uh, also, another thing to note is you can't reuse actions for different nodes. You either need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again. Recommend you just create a new action for the different nodes. The next tutorial will cover rotating nodes using the rotate to uh, action, which rotates it relative to its original rotation. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at solarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.